Hello everyone, welcome back to Void Space Alpha. My name is Ollie and today we're continuing on with the adventures of Ardo the Paladin. Last episode we found this area here um, and it all unlocked and stuff, but um, I've just attempted to go down there and Lazel actually aggroes the group there. So um, I believe that she is really intent on us making sure that we fulfill this quest. So yeah, we're jumping into the Astral Prism um, just to make sure that we don't upset Lazel. And look, that gives me a moment to say a massive thank you to the, it's now official, we're over 11,000 subscribers on the channel, so thank you so much. And thanks even more so to the people that take the time to leave a comment and interact with the channel in any way. I'm going to shut up now over the dialogue. Okay, so we can clearly go into this place. That's pretty cool. I really love the way that it loaded in after the, we landed there. That's cool. Currently running a uh, some sort of high-end i5 and a 3070, so I'm not sure why that is. And the game's on an SSD. A timeless space, bounded. Well, we failed an intelligence fold, check. A pocket of astral plane. Okay. Boundless. Timeless. Like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. Oh yeah, because the uh, Githyanki live in an astral plane, don't they? Uh, okay, well this is going to be a difficult area to navigate. Where, where do I go? I, I could jump that far. That's what we're doing. Okay. And everyone else can jump that far, apparently. 95 experience. Yeah, here they come. You see the little blue dots flying across the map. Here comes the skeleton. <laughs> Who's next? It's Will. Lovely. Okay, so there's an entranceway here. But, uh... Yeah, it looks like there's going to be some stuff to loot. Weave moss... Dead Gift Yankee. Oh, a potion of superior healing. I think that's our first one. A divine bone shard. Okay, that's a crafting thingy. Rusty spears. Another dead Gift Yankee over here. Oh, scroll of chain lightning. That's very useful. Right. Chasm Creeper, Weave Moss. It's all good stuff. Heavy crossbow, I don't need that. Githyanki, though, has a inscribed Githyanki slate. We'll grab that, might be worth reading. Now, if there was anywhere that was going to have a buried chest, it would be here. No, no perception check. That's all right. Right, what else we got? It's definitely something here. Chasm Creeper. Well, these hands. I was about to say these look like hands, but they are hands. There's a, oh, there's a chest up here. Okay, now we're talking. Divine Bone Shard again. Let's grab another one. Right, can I... I can get over here. Okay, lovely. Get that gilded chest open. Oh, 118 gold, Malachite, and the Glyph of Warding. Inscribes a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, the subtle magical effect will trigger. Okay. Well, it was definitely worth looking around. Will... Ceremoniously again, it cannot jump over because he is weak. Are we missing a skeleton? Yeah, there he is. Come on, hurry up, mate. Right, well, we've kind of got to go through with this quest unless we want to upset Lazel. I quite like the idea of finishing the campaign with Lazel. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Yeah, I'm disappointed in myself as well. We will talk in private. Just the two of us. Okay. I can follow the voice in, or I can tell her I'm not going to leave my companions behind. Okay, well, yeah, let's follow the voice in, I suppose. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I hope I not. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? Well, this is because I failed my check to... To save the prison. You are a 
worthy ally. Loving the hair physics. Uh, Black if told me you are an agent of the Elithid Grand Design. Hmm. I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well, I stole it from Black if. Since then, she has become desperate. Blackith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Blackith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. Okay. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Oh. I'm inclined to believe her. Uh, I told Black if I wouldn't kill you, I meant what I said. Get up. Black if be damned, if she wants you dead, she can kill you herself. I don't want to do this, but I'm more afraid of Black if than I am of you. You have to die. I told Black if I wouldn't it kill you. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. I don't know what that's going to do for Lazel, though. Black if will be furious. To make no mention of your Githyanki companion. Oh, bugger. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Black Hips a goddess. What could you possibly know that would bring down her empire? Her power, yes. But with none of the sanctity. Black Hith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. Okay. But that very power, the power to resist Illithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a problem. I did warn you not to come here. But that curious streak of yours has brought us this far. I believe you will overcome this too. I certainly hope so. Long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to I don't even know what the absolute control. looks like. The entire crash stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. Probably including Lazel. Speak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? Oh, I need to deceive her. Um, I'm afraid there is no one there. Oh, I've actually I've learned a few things. Your queen is lying Black to you. Does not lie to her faithful. Open your mind. Show me. Your mind tingles. Oh, okay. This might be. We might be able to pull this off. Open your mind to Lazel. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. I see only. Only madness. Blacket bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. Skvar! We are leaving this place now. Okay, still can't tell if she is annoyed with me. Oh, there's a portal. That's handy. Portal to the material plane. Did I grab everything? I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, did I? Is there stuff over and down here? I don't know how I'd ever even get over there. Yeah, okay. Let's get to the material plane. Yes, I'm I want to leave the astral prison. Now leave before the others come for us. Okay, I need to talk to Lazel. Vlakith. Vlakith. I have wielded okay. your fury as a blade. So he didn't have to kill Lazel. Your wrath as a dragon. 
Yet I crawl among my own people. Low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! Is this to be my penance? Is this heart of stone doomed to shatter? She tests me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Oh dear. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. All this and you still sound by Vlaketh. You're as dull as you are stupid. An impressive show of faith. Will it be enough for your queen? You're an enemy of your people now. You need to accept that. Silence. I must think. Well, I hope you don't think about killing me. Because we're not going to go back into there and killing the uh, the dream person. But that does give us um, item received. Mysterious artifact. Oh, that's um, Shadowheart's artifact, right? Shadowheart should be holding that. Can I, can I not put it in Shadowheart's bag? I guess not. Okay, what's this we've got? Sea invisibility, aura of protection. And blessed. Okay, probably the aura of protection that's on us. Let's go and explore this area that we found before, now that Lazel doesn't want to kill us. I'm still not 100% sure how likely that is to continue. Down the secret stairway. Into the secret chamber. There is a plaque. If thou readst this, trespasser, turn back, lest your life be forfeit. Okay, well, there's definitely going to be some good stuff in here. I just don't know how to open it. How do I... How do I get through here? Oh, I'm guessing I shoot these. Yep, that worked. Oh, entering turn-based mode. I don't like the sound of that. What does this do? Is it a trap of some description? Let's get some guidance. Oh, bother. That's not going to be great. That's going to hurt us, isn't it? Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my... He's dead. He's dead dead. I've got to go back and... What's a soul echo? While his companion's body is gone, their soul lingers and can be used to resurrect them. Okay. Right. So, can I... No, I don't think anyone's got any trap disarm kits. Can you... Can I just switch them into... Or better still, can I use this? I can resurrect Ardo. Target is blocked. Okay, no, I can't do that. So it's going to be... I think it's going to be take the trap disarm kits, right? A shadow heart. Move in and see if I can... Oh, she's brought everyone else in with her. Ah, oh, this could end very badly. Okay, thankfully... That's all worked. Somebody else got flung over. It's Lazel. But she didn't die. Can I use a scroll of resurrection on Ardo's... ...corpse? I can. Ardo's back with one hit point. We're going to have to short rest. Um, Ardo, you must have potions. You've got a potion pouch, haven't you? That's camp supplies. That's my alchemy pouch. That's just another backpack. Here we go. Yeah, okay, no potions of healing, but I did pick up one, didn't I? A superior one? Oh, here it is. There we go, 29 hit points. Right, there must be another power source here. Okay, it's down here. Um, can you... How does... Get over there. Is there not another power source in here? Oh, this looks promising. Right, okay, yeah, this is the way through this room. There's a power source here. What door did that open? That opened that one. Now I need to get down here to shoot that one. But I need to kind of... Yeah, let's disconnect Ardo from the main party. 
Okay. Let's add guidance to that. That might be enough. As long as I roll at least a two. Ah, oh, you absolute sausage. I have to try again. Oh my word! At least I'm not getting blasted off down the chasm. Oh my word! This is, is this area just designed to to burn through my trap disarm kits? <laughs> Come on! I'm just I'm gonna keep trying. Whatever's at the end of this corridor has got to be worth it. Oh my word! Come on, seriously now. Are you? This game hates me. This game hates me. Right, I've got everything crossed. Perfect. Crossing your fingers does work, kids. Okay, that's successfully broken. Lovely. Let's get Ardo. He'll come down here. He's got to kill this power source. Hopefully this is the last room. Lovely. Right, let's rejoin Ardo into the group, actually. Right, so we've gained 30 experience. That's usually a sign that we've found something completely new. The Blood of Lythander. Okay. Right, so this is obviously going to be a thing where I take it off Indiana Jones style and it's going to be like, yeah, you've um, you've nicked a thing, so oh, now some sort of crazy trap's going to arm or whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a greatsword and I'm going to put that greatsword, if I can move this, uh, let's move it this way, I'm going to put that greatsword on here. That's my plan. mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace certainly has a very unusual design. Okay. I'm definitely going to take it. All the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. Um, take the mace anyway, what's the worst that could happen? Everybody disapproves. Yeah, I don't think I'm making a lot of the choices that make my friends happy. Oh dear. This is going quite badly. I'm just making some terrible decisions today. Can I put the base back? Is that an option? Um. Um. Yeah, this is not going well. Everything is in motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Gotta put the mace back. Uh, how do I pause? Um, pressed panel. Can I put the mace in there? Where's the mace? Where is it? I can't see it. Here it is. Oh, it's an invalid combination. I don't know what to put in there. Um, bear with me. Right, I just had a very quick uh, look in my inventory to see if I had anything, and I don't. I think my best bet is to just run for it, right? It's to, I've got four turns remaining to disarm the, the device. It doesn't work if I put the mace in it. So I think my best bet is to... Oh, can I not... Get out of here. 
I'm trapped actually inside, oh my word, this is going to go very badly indeed. So I thought my best chance would be to disarm the advice, oh my god, yeah, to disarm the device. I think I need something that I don't have, because I've looked through my inventory, and yeah, there's nothing in there. What about, what about that thing that I grabbed? Yeah, it's definitely not that. Yeah, so how do I... Spells? Oh, I've got an idea. Do I have a scroll of Misty Step? Maybe not on you, maybe on Will. No, he doesn't. What about teleportation? No, okay. Is that... Is the mace even worth it? It's a 3 to 8 damage mace. When you hit hit points reach 0, you re Okay, so it stops you from going down. Shield, sheds a holy light at 6 meter radius in combat. Fiends undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. It gives you the sunbeam, the level 6 spell. I don't think that Ardo can get out of there. Is there a way... Oh, these solar machines, can they be destroyed? Um, guiding Bolt. Got a 100% chance to kill this one. Well, not kill, but you know. Is what it is. I think that's the best chance I've got at success. Is taking these out. The fireball does 8 to 48 damage. Can't reach that destination. Can hit this one. I love the fireball in this game. It's so bugged. That's one down. We got about the skeleton. You've got a 100% chance with advantage to hit that. Just the one shot. <laughs> okay. So now it's all down to Lazel. Ardo, you can't actually get a path to any of this. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of, can Lazel destroy it? I'm rushing myself, I've got four turns. Um, Lazel, you can destroy this one. Uh, you could potentially do it again. Uh, haven't got an action surge. It's only available in combat. We're not technically in combat. So that is that, I suppose. Will will get you over here so you can shoot the other one next turn. Yep. Escape the crash or disarm the device. Three turns remaining. So I'm hoping by destroying these things that are giving it energy, that's going to be enough. Yeah, Will doesn't actually do the animation for the fireball. I don't know if that's a patch issue or... Right, so that one's down. We just have these two left. Lazel. You should be able to take this one down. <gasps> one health? You shitting me? Oh, that one's down. Have you got any more attacks? No. Right, skeleton. I mean, six damage is six damage. Ardo. No, so now it's Shadow Heart. You've got a level two spell. Guiding Bolt. I really need you to do the high end of the damage on there. It did not do the high end of the damage there. Two turns remaining. Oh, it's so tense. Right, Shadow Heart, please. Guiding Bolt once again. Right, a ten. Or ten left, sorry. Two steps at a time. Will does not have his um, spell slots left, so it's gonna be a double Eldritch Blast. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was stressful. I mean it would have been very useful to destroy the uh, the crash. And all the gift Yankee within it.
Whoa. Yeah, that was uh, that was worrying. Best be on my way. Can't actually get out of here now, though, without going all the way around. Although there is definitely a way down here, right? Like, there's a power source over here, I'm seeing. Or can I just shoot that? Can I? What's that do? It's got to do something. Okay. That probably disarmed the uh, the whole thing. I'm a bit concerned as well. There's a ledge down here, but I can't get to it. There's a chasm. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there is anything down there. So that's okay. So on the quest front, is that it now? We just, we leave. Um, yeah, we probably grab that greatsword again. Right, that Lythander's, um, Blood of Lythander. It is actually better than what we're using at the moment. I think that's a very useful weapon. Now, Shadowheart, this is actually a better weapon for you now as well. Yeah, Shadow Blade gives advantage on attack rolls against lightly or heavily obscured units whilst using this. Oh, she doesn't have proficiency in this weapon. But that's going to be a problem. Can you use it, Will? No, Lazel probably could. 6 to 11. I should probably look at Lazel dual wielding again at some point. I don't really want to give her anything in case she decides to leave us. <laughs> But, you know, it is what it is. Right, what was you using before? Oh, you were using this. Here we go. Right, okay. Well, I think it's time to get out of here. Still breathing. We endangered the crash and its people. And to what end? Oh, because it was fun. Does it matter? We managed to stop it. Yeah, that's true. We're going to hear something. You cannot comprehend the destruction in any frigate. Oh, it's the skeleton. Right, yeah, let's let's go back through, I think. <laughs> and, yeah, we got the crazy cool item, um, which is legendary. What does the purple then mean? Very rare. So, yeah, we've got our first legendary item, I believe. Can we leave this place without Blackith getting very pissed off? That's the next question to answer. I don't know what the answer to that question is, but we're going to give it our best. Okay. Yeah, still haven't been killed by Vlakith yet. So that's definitely a step in the right direction. Let's carry on. Keep going. Keep going. I just want to get somewhere, probably through here, and see if we trigger the annoyance of the entire crash. Or Black If kills us. Right, okay, so the answer is invariably no. So that is where I'm going to leave it for today's episode. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it more than I can tell you. Thanks again to everyone that takes the time to leave a comment, a like, all that great stuff. Any way that you choose to interact with the channel, I am hugely hugely appreciative um popping up on your screen now will be some other videos that i hope you enjoy please do check them out and uh, yeah in the dis description of this video the link in the description to this video will lead you to a discord server which i wholeheartedly recommend you come and join if you just want to hang out with other gamers there's no payment gate you don't have to be a channel subscriber or a patreon or anything like that so um so yeah i'll see you there and i will see you in the next episode